630, we're bringing you a timeline of how the fire scene unfolded overnight and this morning, taking you hour by hour as well as showing you what's ahead. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lands is in the newsroom with more in-depth coverage. Steve and Shannon, when crews arrived on scene, firefighters struck a second alarm. And throughout the night, as I'll show you, that quickly escalated. Reports of a fire just after 11.30 Monday night leads crews to this. Flames quickly spread throughout the vacant 90,000 square foot manufacturing facility, bumping the level of intensity up to a five alarm fire. Around midnight, this reported image surfaces of flames lighting up the sky. A short time later, one of three walls collapsed. This video was shot by Providence Fire Department Union Rep Derek Silva. Fast forward to 3 a.m., Eyewitness News learns that eight ladders and 13 engines from Providence and surrounding areas are all on scene. We now know the building was empty. By sunrise, crews continue battling the blaze. One firefighter has been hurt with non-life-threatening injuries. This reported photo sent into Eyewitness News shows smoke billowing into the air, seen by drivers heading downtown during their morning commute. A briefing at 1030 by Providence's mayor. At 11 a.m., smoke continues to spread through the streets. This, as Rhode Island Department of Environmental Management deems the air quality as unhealthy. 1130 marks the 12th hour that crews have been on scene. As of Tuesday afternoon, city officials confirm the facility's main building has been destroyed, now deemed a total loss. A second building will likely have to be torn down, too. The fire chief says he expects his crews to continue to work throughout this evening and into tomorrow, smothering out remaining hotspots. Reporting in the newsroom, Shante Lands, Eyewitness News.